What's up, guys? So, let me start by apologizing for how long this has been. Uh, this is a weird, this is the weirdest thing I've ever been a part of. We had a big shit show break out back there, and uh, we're going to do this thing different than we normally do. We're going to call them out in twos and uh, keep them out here for a few minutes, then we'll call out the other two. Trust me, <laughs> this is the way to do it. Yeah, boo, I hear you. Yeah, relax. It's all good, buddy. Who has the first question? Dano, just gonna ask if we can start with you, I guess. Can you give us any more details or explanation as to exactly what's going on right now? Shit show. Absolute shit show back there. So ask them questions. Uh, Kevin Holland, I hear you might understand why things are a little bit different right now. Can you tell us anything about why, why things are being done as they are? Woo! Shit show. <laughs> Did, uh, did anything get physical back there? Were you able to stop it from getting that far? What? Dana, did anything yeah, get... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's lots of crazy shit going on back there, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Who cares? Talk about the fight. We got it handled and talk right. about the fight. Kevin, yesterday you said that you thought D-Rod had street boxing ability rather than great boxing ability. How much better do you think your stand-up is than him? I mean, I'm a kung fu black belt. You got any black belts? So I think it's a little better in a couple different areas. That being said, the man's still dangerous. I'll watch out for it. So it's going to be a fun night. For D-Rod, I feel a lot of fans are really excited for this fight. They're looking hyped up to it. Do you think this could be the fight of the night, the sleeper fight that people should be looking out for? Oh, of course I think it's, it's going to be a fight of the night. Actually, I feel like we saved the card, honestly, to be real with you. Um, yeah, uh, fucking tomorrow. Uh, what is it? Tomorrow? Saturday? Saturday night. Yeah, we're going to get fight of the night for sure. How do you see the fight playing out? Where are your strengths compared to Kevin? Well, we won't be in a fucking kung fu fight. I know that for sure. We're going to be in a fight fight. So uh, I ain't tripping on no kung fu black belt. If anything, I'm, I, I know kung Everybody's fu. Everybody's kung fu fighting. I don't know what the fuck this guy's talking about. Everybody's kung fu fighting. Go ahead. Over here for, for D-Rod. It's been a minute. Uh, for you to make your way back, and you and Kevin have been circling each other for a while. Making your comeback, did it matter that it was going to be Kevin, or could it have been anybody for you? No, nah, it could have been anybody uh, on this on this uh, card tonight. Um, it just so happened to be him, and uh, fortunately, you're like, yeah, uh, we got our history. We are supposed to fight a couple times, been a little trash talk back and forth, and, and you know, we're here now. And last question for Kevin. The last time D-Rod welcomed somebody to this division, it went his way. Why is it not going to go his way Saturday night? Uh, he, I mean, unless you're talking about a catch weight of 180 pounds as being a division, uh, already been at welterweight, already been at 85. This is just something in the middle. So uh, I think I should have a spectacular show out. The weight cut's not too hard. So uh, should be no excuses for either person. Go ahead. Question for both of you guys. Um, obviously, a lot of fans are saying this might be one of the best fights on the card. How much is this about moving up in the rankings? And because of the history, how much of this is about bragging rights? Uh, shit, every time I fight somebody, it's just about bragging rights. I like beating people's ass and going home and talking to my people about it. So, yeah, it's all cool with me. Fuck the rankings. Yeah, same here. I ain't tripping on the rankings. I'm here to fight. I'm here to put on a show, and I'm here to get paid. That's it? All right, I'm gonna square these two off and then we'll bring out the next two. Hey, and don't believe none of these guys when they tell you they're gangsters. They're all wearing makeup for the cameras out here. <laughs>